technically you can only do back testing if you have a, a, a pretty uh, clear idea, okay? What your trade setup looks like. That means if I see, uh, uh, for example, if the prior trend uh, was the long, the longer term up uh, time frame is actually up, then the pullback happens, and then I see a bullish reversal candlestick pattern, and only on the bullish engulfing candlestick pattern. Mm -hmm. Okay, if that is what I want to trade on, obviously I want to back test this, right? Okay, so the easier way is that there are some software I. I'm not sure whether there are software that can easily do that already or not by looking in the past and help you find all the bullish and galvin candlestick patterns. Uh, I, I do not know of any of that yet. But what I do is that I want, if I want to look in the past, I will just scroll back the history. Okay, then after that, what, what do you do? You just go to the, the earliest point in the history, right? Then you just slowly move forward, move forward, move forward until you see visually, you see that bullish and galvin candlestick patterns. Okay. Then you don't want to show too much of the front because you don't want to know what is happening. So the best thing is you keep the last day as you are moving through right at the right-hand side of your chart. Mm -hmm. Okay, you slowly move through, drag, 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 drag. When you see the patterns happening, assume that you're going to take a trade because of that pattern emerging as your part of your strategy, right? Then you just say, okay, now it appears. I'm going to pretend that I execute a trade based on the historical data. Okay, then you go and put it down. Okay, where's my entry level? Where is my stop loss level? Where is my profit target level? put it in the spreadsheet, then you continue to run the chart forward. Okay. Day by day, day by day, day by day. Then you will see day by day on a basic, because all this already happened. Then sooner or later, you'll come to a point where it either touches your profit taking or stop loss okay. level. Yes. Then with, once with that, you write down on your spreadsheet. Okay, I, I exited with a profit based on this bullish engulfing reversal candlestick pattern. So you just keep on doing this, doing this you will want to try to at least do this for at least 30 to 50 trades. Mm 